Hey everybody, uh, thanks for tuning in tonight. Appreciate the support. Um, as always, uh, I wanted to uh, start off by saying thank you to our Arm Sport Videos members, uh, members to the channel. Uh, appreciate the support. Um, your support makes it possible for us to do so many more things. Uh, so if you want to become a member, uh, just click join on one of the videos or on the homepage of, uh, of Arm Sport Videos on YouTube. I, I think the cost right now is $4.99 per month uh, plus tax. Uh, but it uh, really helps uh, support the channel quite a bit, and uh, we really do appreciate that. Um, and thanks again to all our subscribers um, for giving us your support and uh, tuning in on a regular basis uh, for our videos. Now, tonight, no live show tonight, but what I have done is I've prepared a video on a recent road trip I made uh, to Moncton, New Brunswick, uh, to hang out with the Hub City Hitmen for a little bit. I uh, talked with a couple of the guys up there, watched some practice. Uh, anyway, we prepared uh, a short video for you. Um, I will be here in the chat. I'm airing this at the uh, same time that you guys can watch it. Uh, so if you have any questions or any comments, feel free to uh, fire away. But uh, let's have a look at uh, my recent road trip to Moncton, New Brunswick. Thanks. Okay, oh, hands in the way of course. Okay, we made it to Moncton. Let's go inside and see what Hub City Hitman practice is all about. Okay, hey then. We made it to uh, Moncton. We're inside the building and we're going to walk in to uh, check out uh, some of the Hub City Hitman practice. Here we go. I uh, drove up from Halifax uh, to check out uh, Hub City Hitman's uh, practice. So we're here on a Friday night, and I have with me right now um, something that had been around for more than a couple of years. You might recognize uh, him when he was much smaller. Yeah. Uh, Fireball Luke Faubert from back in the uh, late 80s, early 90s. That's right. Um, 86. Well, I, what I remember the first time I saw Luke Faubert was him running to the stage like a friggin' madman. But anyway, um, yep. in New Brunswick Arm Wrestling, you are now... I am the president, the president? The president of the New Brunswick Arm Wrestling Association since uh, 2012. That and two bucks will buy you a cup of coffee, right? Yeah, that's right. That's right. <laughs> um, so, so who was the president before you became the president now, currently? Well, 
in New Brunswick, uh, a lot, a lot after the 70s, 80s, everything kind of went downhill. Yeah. Uh, we had the late Silvio Bork that was around yeah. doing tournaments. There wasn't really an association established. Uh, Joyce King uh, had the Nationals. Yeah. She had uh, also started a uh, uh, a club and you know put on a what probably one of the best Nationals I've been to in a long time. Um, but there wasn't really uh, an association, a provincial okay. association, a body. Um, I moved down here in 2012 for work, and I met up with uh, Silvio Bork, actually. We just ran into each other just at the uh, local ice rink. Okay. And uh, he gave me his numbers. Hey, I got some boys down here that could use your help. He introduced me to Regent Alain, Will Walsh, and we took it from there. So pre, uh, this is my, I just want to interrupt. So pre-COVID, um, when Reg was still an active puller in New Brunswick, was he, he was like the uh, vice president, or he was no, the second, or no? Reg was always on our board. Okay. Always on our board. Uh, our, our VP, we we restructured. Oh, okay. Um, 2013, uh, 2012, I injured my shoulder at the Nationals in Timmins, Ontario. So I came back. I had to take some time off. Once I got that settled, got the surgery done, I finally got the muster to get back on the table and practice. Uh, came back and then uh, I got introduced to Jamie LeBlanc. And uh, Jamie had the, I could see his vision about within the sport. And then Phil Lepage, one of our pullers, he introduced me to Jamie, hey, let's get the association back together. Okay. And uh, so we, me, Jamie, Phil Lepage, Reg, uh, we formed an association. Uh, we're on the right path. We had a, one good committee. We went from three pullers back in 2012, three or four pullers in the region. And I'd say we're about 60 to 80 pullers. Just take one little step to your left. That's all, okay. But, but I, I feel like Danny DeVito next to him. <laughs> Um, Does this yeah. make it better now? Yeah, you yeah, feel, yeah. No, yeah. no, if you're yeah, not a I feel good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, no, it's, uh, you know, it was a lot of work, a lot of effort, and we're still working hard. However, now, um, there's a bunch of new blood in New Brunswick that we're seeing in Nova Scotia. We get to see, I've made a couple of trips up. That's right. Um, and uh, we're seeing new faces coming to Nova Scotia for tournaments. That's right. Um, so whatever you and Jamie are doing, well, it's working I, right now. Well, I'm not going to take kudos for that. No, I'm just, um, you guys as a team. I, well, it's definitely a big team effort. Uh, I, I always said there's no I in team. Yep. Um, a, lot, a lot of the legwork was done by Jamie. Jamie Fucking there's a me, though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jamie, uh, Jamie, the type of work he does, everywhere he went, he brought an arm wrestling table with him, okay. being a welder. Yeah. And then he'd show up, and guys on the construction site, he'd pull out the table, and he got people interested in the sport, and that's what happened with Acadian Arms. Yeah. Right? And now we got, we got Acadian Arms, we got Edmonston. There's a club in Edmonston now as Edmondson well? Edmondston as well. Okay, there's... Okay, Fredericton. Sorry, go ahead. Fredericton, yeah. St. Fred John. St. John. St. John, okay. So we're, we're definitely... We're definitely around New Brunswick now. That's so cool. So a lot of late work done by Jamie because he gets to travel for work. Yeah. Um, but then again, you know, a lot of the political side, I, you know, I try to take on. I talk to Rick Pickney a lot. And, uh, you know, we, we always do things in a, uh, in a proper manner, the voting method, you know. Um, and we welcome, you know, all newcomers. Well, and as a matter of fact, you guys are having a tournament, I think, next week, are you not? That's right. In that, Woodstock. That's right. Woodstock, Ontario. Uh, Woodstock, Ontario. Oh, Woodstock, New Brunswick. Oh, <laughs> so, sorry, guys. I'm, I'm from Ontario originally. Okay. Wood, you know what? There's strike one against him. He's from Ontario. <laughs> yeah. Not Quebec. <laughs> Ouch. Oh. Ouch. I, hold it. Look at this face. I did not say that. Je, je that was him. Je parle très bien français, <laughs> mais je pas québécois. Yeah. Whatever he said. <laughs> Um, no, um, we're having a, a Woodstock, uh, New Brunswick on uh, November 7th. Uh, Is it November 7th? November 5th. 5th. Sorry, November 5th. I, like, that's I don't right. even know the dates yeah. now. So, yes. I'm, so I, it's the I, weekend I, after Halloween. That's right. The weekend okay. after Halloween, we're heading yeah. out to uh, Woodstock, New Brunswick for our very first tournament out there. Okay. And uh, it's actually on the, uh, in, in a very special area. Uh, part of the Mi'kmaq Nation. Yeah. 
Um, so we're, we're kind of fortunate that they're opening their their uh, their gym to us cool. and allowing us to have a tournament. And uh, you know, we got the sponsors, uh, and that that was the big thing. It's all about sponsors. Uh, we thrive to bring this sport back to New Brunswick. I think we're doing extremely well. Um, I, I will say I learned a lot of the organization back when, uh, you know, back in the late 80s, 90s, when I was you're being, still in Ontario. I was still in Ontario. I was being groomed by Rick Blanchard. Yeah. And uh, I got to see the, uh, you know, the Canadian Federation, you know, grow. And I got to see the, I was one of the original members of the Ontario Arm Wrestling Association. Uh, th this is how far this goes back. Um, 38 years on and off so I'm very fortunate cool. this is a very awesome sport love the sport I'll I think I told my wife uh, if I ever pass away make sure my urn is in a <laughs> arm wrestling trophy oh, <laughs> that's all not, I ask not me I'm going to Disney <laughs> you think I'm joking <laughs> you going to Disney I'm going to my ashes I'm being cremated and my wife is taking me to Disney okay because it's the happiest place on earth <laughs> Uh, yeah, no, it's uh, you know, Scott. We we've known each other for it's been a couple of minutes, for, for, yeah, for <laughs> quite a, a few, quite a few years yeah. on and off. You know, it's yeah. always good to yeah. see you at uh, at our events, and you know, we support uh, Nova Scotia. If there if there'd be tournaments at PEI, we'd go to PEI, sure. uh, New Brunswick. Um, there's talk maybe having a group go to uh, the Ontario. Um, uh, the one Aaron, in Ottawa? Yes. The, the yeah. Ottawa Open? I'm, the going, Ottawa I'm Open. going to that, actually. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There you yeah. go. So there's talk about a few of us going to the Ottawa Open. In fact, uh, we went to Winnipeg this year at our Nationals. The Nationals, yeah. And uh, I will say, you know, for the five guys that, we, that, were, that was there, right, we did extremely well. Cool. Extremely well. You know, Chris, Chris Galland, he's a guy up, up and coming. Uh, you know, he, he ranked really well. Dylan Courier. Dylan Courier, yeah. He, Third place. Yeah. Bronze. Beat Marlon Hicks. We just saw we just saw Dylan last weekend at the Battle of the Atlantic, so he won left handed. Oh yeah. Unreal. The guy's just uh, it, was a, it, was a good, it was a good match for Dylan. Yes, good oh very, very, very strong. Yeah. Little guy, but packs a good uh, 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 what do they say? Uh, the, the, the best stuff in the small packages. Yeah, good things coming come in, in small, small packages. packages. Right? Yeah. Yep. Um, and, but look, look, he pulled real well at the Nationals. Oh, yeah. Every time I've seen him, he seems to make another jump, improving. Oh, he's constantly right? improving, so, constantly improving. Good for him, good for Dylan. He's he was also really trained good. by the, the late Silvio Borg. By Silvio? Okay. Uh, before Silvio passed away, uh, he, he was his training partner. So, so he, he, he learned a lot from Silvio, but he also takes the time and dedication to travel. Yeah, well, and you have to. Yes. You have, there's not enough going on. Oh, no. Here. No, especially New Brunswick. So, uh, no, New Brunswick is so far apart from yeah. each city, so it's kind of hard to just have one localized tournament. You gotta, you know, you gotta, you gotta move around a lot, and a lot of traveling involved. But you know, we do it because we love it. It's, it's and we're stupid. Yeah, <laughs> and we're stupid. Yeah, well. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, hey, look, it was good to see you. Likewise, always nice to see you. Arm Sport Video. There you go. <laughs> Check it out. Scott, uh, Scott's a good teacher. So, because all I'm wanting you to do is, is don't worry about pinning me. All you want to do is walk the goal. Yeah. Just control. Right. Ladies and gentlemen, so, Scott McKennis, will he ever do a comeback on a table? No, he's not allowed. I've told you this before. Ah. Just let me enjoy oh. sitting under his learning tree. <laughs> hey there. I hope you uh, enjoyed our look at uh, Hub City Hitmen practice. That's all we have for you for uh, today. Uh, if you want to join us next week for part two of this, uh, which you know, will include um, a short conversation I had with uh, Jamie LeBlanc uh, from uh, New Brunswick as well, uh, coming off a great year uh, that uh, Jamie's had at the Canadian Nationals, the Atlantic Canadian Championships, <clears throat> just massive improvements in Jamie. Um, but uh, you can uh, tune in right here next time, uh, next Sunday at uh, 7, uh, 7 p.m. Atlantic time. And it'll be part two of uh, 
uh, my road trip to uh, Moncton, New Brunswick uh, to check out uh, the Hub City Hitman. Thanks very much. Have a good night.